Hello, solar fans. My name is Robert Fournette, and I'm a West Virginia resident uh, that went solar in 2017. Uh, so I just want to take a couple minutes today and talk a little bit more about why I went solar and give you a real quick tour of my system. So when my wife and I moved to this area in 2017, uh, going solar was a very important part of choosing a house that was well situated for solar. Uh, I was very interested in electric vehicles and owned one electric vehicle at that time and wanted to make sure that I could produce my own fuel for that electric vehicle and control the cost for it. Uh, so as far as why I went solar, I'd say that's probably one of the main reasons uh, controlling the cost and, and where my energy comes from, uh, reducing carbon emissions on both for the vehicle and for my home. Uh, so those are all important reasons uh, for going solar. And I'm a, I'm a techie by heart. So uh, uh, getting all the new energy technology in my home was also uh, sort of a side benefit. Okay, so for the real quick tour of the system, uh, most folks who have solar are familiar with these devices. The big white box we've got here is a Solar Edge 11,400 watt uh, inverter. And so this unit converts all the DC power produced by the panels on the roof to AC power for the use by the house and for pushing back out to the grid. Uh, this little unit right here on the wall beside of it is an electric vehicle charger uh, and I've got an adapter sitting on top of it. But this is what I use to charge my electric vehicle. This unit puts out about 40 amps of power so that ends up being 240 volts. It's almost 10,000 watts of power to the electric vehicle. You see my nice long cable there. I also have an electric lawnmower, a battery powered lawnmower and uh, electric uh, lawn tools. So the sun can uh, grow the grass and the sun can uh, provide all the energy to cut and maintain the grass. And there's an electric vehicle. That's uh, a long range uh, Tesla Model 3. Okay, let's head outside. Hopefully you don't get blinded here. Some flowers coming up. All right, so up on the roof, we've got uh, 36 Panasonic 315 watt panels. Uh, that total comes to about 11.34 kilowatts is the size of this particular system. Most of the panels are oriented nearly direct south, uh, but I do have a few here on the side that are a little more westernly facing. So that's pretty much all you can see on the roof as far as the panels go. Around the side here, we've got our uh, shutoff. So this external shutoff for safety allows uh, firefighters and anyone who may need to get on the roof and, and uh, be around those panels to de-energize the system before they do that. So that's right here, out here on the side and accessible uh, to those kinds of folks. Uh, we've got our power meter, and now this meter was replaced shortly after the system went in. It's now a digital meter, and it measures bi-directional power flow, so you can see two numbers flashing there. The amount of power that I've pushed out and the amount of power that I've used. If I can get close enough, the larger number, the 24,000 number, that's uh, the kilowatt hours that I've pushed out to the grid, and the 22,000 number is what I've used. So that's the power meter. I think that's about it on this side. And really that's about all there is to the whole system. That's the great thing about solar systems. There's not a lot of maintenance or anything that you need to do. It's all pretty much solid state. It just kind of sits there and makes power. You can see my license plate. Yes, I like to show off that my electric vehicle is sun powered here in West Virginia. Well, hopefully that was interesting uh, for those who haven't seen solar. And if you do have solar, I'm sure you uh, got to see a lot of things you're already familiar with. Uh, but if you do uh, have solar and you're interested in sharing with others, uh, please do think about the National Solar Tour in October and uh, opening up your home and showing your system and educating others. Uh, it's, uh, it'd be really great to get more folks interested in solar. Please keep uh, all the CDC 
recommendations in mind as we uh, get through this uh, a little bit of a crazy time with the coronavirus, uh, but all the social distancing and other uh, hygiene recommendations, uh, please do observe those. And uh, we'll get through this together and as quickly as we can. All right, thanks everyone.